Tennis player, Gary Fisher. And Gary. <laughs> well done. Gary, there you go. Go, go, go. Gary, you're here too. And Gary, I'm just going to get your microphone for you so we can hear you. That's it. Do you Gary want one as well? Gary wants the good seat. <laughs> We're not speaking. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a good interview, isn't it? We're licking. Okay. I had a line of questioning for Gary, but uh, we're going to have to leave that now, aren't we? It's great to have Gary back again, isn't it? Because last time I interviewed you was in Essen for Star Wars Celebration Europe last time, two years ago, and Gary came on stage and he mauled my Ewoks, didn't he? He did. He doesn't like Ewoks. No, I, I noticed. He they sort destroyed. of maul his spotlight. I know. Well, he's become quite a celebrity, hasn't he? I mean, you know, he's got a social media presence He now. has over 30,000 followers on uh, Instagram, so if you want to raise that number, you know. Yeah, get following See him. how excited he is about that. <laughs> But he accompanied to you to the premiere of The Force Awakens as well. He did, and he sort of ruined the, you know, uh, let's see. What's he up? He's on Yeah, it. there was a sort of stability about the crowd until Gary got there and chased around. Um, who did he chase around? Oh, he chased BB-8 around. BB-8, he really doesn't, no, he loves BB-8. He wanted to play ball. He thought BB-8 was another dog, which I can't deny. <laughs> Oh, he's and, crying uh, now, why are you crying? Now he's weeping. Does and anyone have any treats? You can sit under my desk. And that's not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. Now, um, have, you, um, have you ever, uh, you know, thought about Gary perhaps being in a Star Wars movie? I would love for him to be in a Star Wars. I think there are not enough pets in Star Wars. Oh. That's the only thing really it's missing, don't you think? Would he be Leia's pet, or do you think he, you see him he as another pet? He could be character? anyone's pet. He would like to be my pet, I think. But uh, I, he's... He's uh, willing to move along and go with somebody else. Okay. Well, I've been thinking about this, you know. I've been thinking, where okay. could we put Gary in Star Wars? And I, I've come up with a few ideas for you to consider. Let, let's have a look at the first one. This is... Uh, <laughs> this is Gary Yoda. Or Goda. Uh, and next up, uh, next up, I've come up with the Gwampa. Oh. There he is, the Gwampa. Blends perfectly into that character. And we've got uh, a Gargar Binks. And uh, this is Salacious Gary. There he is. <laughs> Salacious Gary sounds a bit like a porn star, doesn't it? <laughs> well, with that tongue, you know, you can't do that. Oh, oh now, that's, now that's putting it too far now. That's just yeah. weird. That's, what is that? That's, um, a, 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 what is that? A Warwick Wicket? Gavey. Ga a, Gary. <laughs> a Gary Wok. Gary Wok. Yes. There you go, well, so. that tongue is a special effect, don't you guys think so? Well, you know what, Carrie? It's funny you should, you should say that, but when I played Wicket, I was able to get my tongue through between the teeth of the character. I don't remember tongue. that. You don't remember that, no. Thank but... God. <laughs> <laughs> really? Right, so, um, actually, I've got something for Gary here. I made him nervous on that you one. You do? It's got warm in here all of a sudden. Okay, so, I've got this certificate that we were, we were handed that's, um, that's for Gary. Look at that. He's now an honorary member of Mission Orange. He's got his own patch and everything now. So. Where am I going to put the patch, though? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's... Anybody have any guesses? Yes. I don't think you're allowed to affix, uh, affix patches to dogs, actually. So. Well, Gary so will fix Gary. that, though. <laughs> well, thank you. Gary, check it out. He's impressed. He's impressed. <laughs> He's been on the set of Star Wars, and he... Thank you. Gary, look. They love you. <laughs> yes! Yes, Gary! He was a tiny bit afraid of the set because he was thought he? that they didn't really want him there after he got, got on the set one day, and there was... I think the Wookiee, you know, Chewie scares him. He thinks it's a very big dog. <laughs> Too big to play with. Absolutely. Look. Well, since we last chatted, you've been working on the 
Force Awakens. We can now talk I'm about I'm not allowed it. to talk about that. You are now, though. You, you, oh, that one. Yes, okay, the one that, that we did. <laughs> I don't know what I'm not supposed to talk no, about, but I know it's something. The one where that, the picture there will remind you of that moment. So you, you, I know, that's you can... my baboon-ass hairstyle. <laughs> You don't disagree. First I have the hairy earphones, and now I have baboon asses. You've never been a big fan of the hair, have you? Well, come on, give me a break. You want to be a fan of that hair? Oh, you would look good in the hair. Well, what but... about the Empire Strikes Back when you had the sort of loopy, twirly bits? Did you like them? Plats? No. no. I think I like them better than the baboon ass, for sure. Did they not consult you on these matters? No, actually, there are worse ones, if you can imagine. They, they yeah. screen a lot of other ones. But no, I don't get, I don't get a lot of choice. Okay. Well, how was it being back on The Force Awakens again? I mean, were it you was, excited or just... Well? Yes, you feel a little old for camp. It's sort of like a camp reunion. But you were reunited with your, your co-stars originally, so you were, you were along with them, but you had a lot, of, a lot of younger actors with you as well. Reunited and it feels so good. Did it feel good? Yes. No, yeah, it did. We just looked a little melted, Harrison. <laughs> so, uh, but that happens in space after a while. You'll see. <laughs> and did you kind of find the character again straight away after all this time? The character's more worried this time. Mm. There's more people blowing up, and, and you get more worried as you go along. I mean, and as you get older, you worry about more worry things, Worry about don't you? sending people off into battle and... Very, very relaxed when they get back. Yeah, I and mean, she's a general now, you see, so you have more responsibilities as a character. Way too, that's why I say it's way too much way responsibility. Too much. That's why the worrying comes. Why did she accept it? You know, the nerf herders didn't let me decide. <laughs> I just had to do whatever they say. No, they don't ask me if I want to be worried or not. Okay. I would like to be worried and funny. Oh, you want a bit of comedy? A bit of, you know, slapstick with the worrying. Oh, okay. Send them off with a tap dance, something and like that. slip on a banana skin. Come back, look what you'll be missing. You know, stuff <laughs> like that. So, what do you know of the, the, the kind of the period between the end of Return of the Jedi and the beginning of The Force Awakens? Did they, did they tell you any of that story so you were, you were well informed? Hans funeral. No, well, we, we, no between, the, 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 oh, before, the old you know, one. Okay, oh, 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 oh Han and I have a very, very volatile, you know, relationship, yeah. obviously, which leads to space divorce, as you know. <laughs> no, I don't think we are divorced. We're no, just no. estranged. I see, space estrangement. Yes, which uh -huh. is very, very rough. And, uh, and we had a child who turned out to be Hitler. <laughs> and, uh, naughty Hitler. Well, you'd feel bad, too, if your son did all that, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. I've got my back to you, sorry. Uh, but I did spank Adam when I first met him, so that felt good. So he was delighted. Well, he's very tall, so, you know, I don't think he was scared. <laughs> Tell me about working with J.J. Abrams. J.J. is like an actor. He's very funny. He, he makes a, you know, a very tight ship, but a fun ship. And uh, he knows everyone's name. I mean, every extra, every crew member, everybody. So uh, he's, he's great to be around. I mean, I, I always go up to them and, and ask them to give me more than they're giving. So I'm a pain in the ass. But uh, he was a great director, as, now, as is the new guy. Of course. And how did he pitch the idea of coming back? Did he, did he take you to lunch and say, Listen, we're going to do another Star Wars. We're they don't have to ask you to do another Star Wars. I mean, what? You think they come and say, now look, here's the bad and good news. Do you want to do Princess Leia again? I've been doing Princess Leia all along. So it's not like doing her again. It's just that I haven't seen as much of Harrison as our mar marriage would indicate. I see. But uh, I'm always Princess Leia. I mean, if I ran into one of you, would you call me Carrie or would you call me Leia? Both. That's true. I am Leia, and Leia is me. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I have been Princess Leia all along, and myself. So uh, there's not much to there's not much to agree to. I agree to it immediately. And also, women my age don't work a lot in Hollywood. You get a man who's about 65, and his girlfriend is 25. I see. 
That's how it works. That's cool. Sometimes in life, too. Uh, yes. <laughs> now, do you have any advice for the younger members of the cast, having experienced what you have with Star Wars fandom and the whole journey you've been through for the last 40 years? I've told uh, Daisy not to go through the crew like wildfire. <laughs> We have to preserve. And that goes for the boys as well. Uh, so that, uh, she took that advice. And uh, not that I went through the crew like wildfire. Tiptoed, no. Uh, I, I gave them uh, advice on doing uh, a press. I see. What? I don't know what that was, though. I can't remember. You don't can't remember me. what the advice was. Well, you don't have to try to be funny. You just have to tell your anecdotes and say what it's like to be merchandise, which sounds like a euphemism as well. <laughs> but uh, it is very weird to be merchandised. What did you think the first time you saw the figure of Princess Leia? That her, there well, wasn't... I have a beauty mark. And when I say beauty, I use the term lightly. On the back, on my, on my back. And so they forgot to put that on. But it was in the movie. Did you guys notice it? No. You were too busy looking at the front. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I, but I liked being a shampoo where you could twist off my head, pour liquid out of my neck. <laughs> and uh, you can wash me with soap, and you can lick me because I'm a stamp. Well, no, Gary. That's why I got the Gary with the tongue. <laughs> It's Gary with the tongue, not Gary with the... Okay. Uh, I, I, there, I've been so many things. Uh, I've been uh, a robe, and I, I'm a Halloween costume. Are you? Yes. Did you see the gentleman I had out here just he before He looked so out? much better than I did, but... <laughs> Gary, he I had did. a beard. I think I would have looked good with a slight beard. <laughs> just five o'clock shadow. Uh, no, I thought you looked great, wherever you are. He's over there. Okay, yeah. you really did. Yeah, we, we, um, we surrounded I... him with security just so he couldn't get back over here. Do you have to wear the, uh, you know, the uh, bikini for stuff with your girlfriend? <laughs> I don't think that would look very good. <laughs> now, I expect, having played one of the most iconic sci-fi women in film history, you get recognized everywhere you go. Yeah. Well, more, uh, more lately, because there's been a transition into the melting. So now they've caught up with me, and so they've caught up with me. Oh, I see what you're saying. So people didn't recognize you so much from the end of when Return I of looked, the Jedi. Yeah, no, when I was 25, I don't really look the same as when I was 25. My beauty mark does. But uh, I am a little more melted, but now they know that, and so, so they find me. And what do, what do people say when they come up to you? I mean, what, what are they asking for? Autographs? What's going on? Selfies. Selfies? Yes. They selfies want words. autographs and selfies and, and uh, sexual favors. I don't know. <laughs> how, are you, how are you with the selfies? I mean, I, I get that a lot as well. You know, it's, uh... I'm good with selfies, although I like to, you know, you see yourself, which is, you, you don't see when they're taking a picture. So then I have to get my neck right and everything that... That's a special effect, too, that they haven't worked out yet. Yeah, I mean, the selfie's not the most flattering photograph, is it, in the world, really? Well, you can't control the lighting, but no, no. it's not. No, well, I, I've actually uh, been doing a few selfies, because I like to collect them myself, as well as people taking pictures of me. When I meet someone famous, I like to have a picture with them. And I've got a little collection of Star Wars selfies that I've been doing. This first one is, uh, is me and Chewbacca. Let's have a look at that. There we go. It's me and Chewie. <laughs> And you can tell it's a Is great that likeness. a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> or are you just glad to see me? <laughs> Wait yeah. till you see the next one. This is me and uh, Lord Vader. There we go. It's Mo early in the morning for those kind of things. Most impressive is what I said to him. And, uh, and this last one, me and That's Harrison That's my Ford. father. <laughs> uh, and there's your husband. There's my husband. That's a good one, huh? Carrie, I wonder whether I could add a fourth one to my, what is a fairly limited collection of Star Wars selfies right now. Can we do a, can we do a selfie? Of yeah? course, of course. Well, I don't usually do these very often, but uh, Gary, are you going to be sitting there in the middle? What do you fancy with this? Here, yeah, we, we can get, get Gary in it as well. 
So I'm all set up, you see, people aren't usually ready. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get Gary, look up, buddy. Look up, ready, smile. <laughs> there we go, wonderful. That's fantastic, we we'll just check it, as we do. Oh, that's a bit blurred, that one, that's a bit blurred. That's good, that's good. Can we do one more? It is actually blurry. But this is, this is what, let me do it one more time oh, now. Here, Gary. I see what you mean now, you see, when you're, when you're under pressure, your, your phone just doesn't work, does it? Right, okay, here we go. Oh, now I've made it, oh, oh dear, I'm gonna... <laughs> Panorama now, honest, oh no, it's facing the wrong picture of you lot then. Um, okay, here we go, Gary, one more, and... That's great. Okay. I'll put that on Twitter later on for everyone to see. You know, having done that, I expect there's not one person here who wouldn't want a selfie with you and me, is there? Who, who, would, who would want a selfie? Look at that. Mark, get me, get me a few people. I've got an idea. Get me a few people with camera phones. Get, hey, get, it's get, Elliot. If I tap you on the shoulder and give you a number, come over here now, to man. me. So what I was thinking, Carrie, I've sort of come up with an idea, whether you're up for this. We could go for the world record of the most selfies in 60 seconds. You're up for that with you and me? and a, and a fan. Let's try it. Okay, so um, Guys, come with me. I need to kind of ident this with some sort of sting, um, something, something to, to represent the speed of this, something like um, quick as a flash. Can you give me a sting uh, like that? Something quick as a flash, something? Here we go. Flash! Okay. Right, so, Carrie, what we'll do, we'll set ourselves up here. You can okay. stay where you are. Would, right. would Gary... I don't want him to get upset with all these people coming on stage all of a no, sudden. No, no, Gary's very okay. Can we shove him up that way a bit then? I'll get a bit closer. And we'll allow a space here for these people. Look at this, herds of people. So I don't actually know whether this is a world record, if we can do this. We've got 60 seconds to do it. No, 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 and, um, no, 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 please go back can and we, sit uh, down. Please, can no, we get no. Robbie up Thank here you. with the camera? Robbie, can you come Thank up you. here? No. And uh, this is going to be a, a sort of point of view camera now. Can we get the camera up on stage? And we're going to have 60 seconds up on the clock, ready? And uh, the guys are here ready, so have your phones open, ready. I don't want to be unlocking them, you know, all that stuff. We've got to get this quick. Mark's going to manage you guys. All we've got to do is smile, OK? So standing by, tell me when they're ready, Mark. We're just looking at the camera when it comes in here, Carrie. We're just, they're going to bring them in, look, each person. Okay. All these guys. Are you ready? Three, two, one, you keep count, go! Quickly. It's facing the wrong way! Oh. That's one, go! Okay, number two. Oh yes, go! It's number three. Excellent, go! Did he take it? He's got it on timer! Go over there, get it! Oh, excellent, go man! Are we going for five? Okay, good, sound those numbers, that's six! Seven, go. 25 seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> eight, go away. <laughs> okay, this will be, what is this, number eight now? Go. Oh. Number nine. 14 seconds. Princess Leia. That's nine, is it nine? This is 10, we've got 10 seconds. Yes. 11. Everyone squeeze in, go, go, go. Oh, Thank Gary. You. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, Gary, oh, I'm exhausted from that. But you see what happened in that? It was textbook mistakes, wasn't it? Timers were set. It was all wrong. It made Gary a little nervous. Gary, is your microphone there? Let me just see if it's a record. It's okay. They will come back. Yes, I... I've just been told there's no such record, although I think we have set a record for the most selfies at Star Wars Celebration at the Excel Centre on a Sunday. So, well done. <laughs> We have it. <laughs> oh, it's when we're it's when we're clapping, isn't it? That's what's happening. It's when we're clapping. Like praise. Oh, oh dear. Where's your microphone gone, Carrie? Oh, there it is. Bye, guys. Sorry about that. You're back with us again. Oh, they are the ones that. <laughs> there they go. It. And guys, if you've got those selfies, uh, hashtag SWCE pics, and we'll have a look at those later on. Well, maybe in the next show, actually. But um, So, Carrie, last time we were together as well in Essen, I remember you indulged me a recreation of our scene. Because I, I like to recreate scenes from the film. I love to recreate it scenes. It was fabulous. I wonder whether, as a treat to these good people here, these over 4,000 people here, we might do it again today. Oh, my God. I, 
I would love to do that. You'd love to. So, love yes, to. he said, yes. Let's play Stage Wars. OK. All right. You can stay there. I will direct you. Right. So I need a couple of bits for this. So, Carrie, I'm just getting my props. First of all, I need this spear. I need a spear here. So just got a spear. Hang on, it's never ending. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I asked for a spear. Look at the state of this. I need a little candy thing to give you. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll make sure you have something. That's my spear anyway. That is ridiculous. Very impressive. Okay, what else have we got here for this? Yeah, I just need my little, little Ewok hood here as well. There you go, so I'm gonna be, it's, it, when I do these, it's unusual I get to play myself, you see. I always have to play somebody else. <laughs> but, um, there we go, he's back. He's... Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Now, we haven't got any, any kind of goodies for you to give me. Know, maybe you could feed Wicked a can of Coke, maybe, for this yeah. one. Okay, so, so do you want to sort of lay along this chaise longue here? I don't... Instead of, I don't want to have Carrie Fisher lay on the floor, surely not. I think just relax back there as if this is the forest floor. There we are. And you're laying with the wildlife there of the forest. That's it. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, good. And now, um, before we do this, Carrie, he doesn't want to be a pillow, does he? That's what the problem is. He said, I'm a star now. I'm not going to be a pillow. That's it. It's just like being at home, Gary, see? All right. Okay, right. Now, before we do this, Carrie, just relax a minute and let's remind ourselves of our moment in the film. Hey! <laughs> oh. That was such fun. What do you remember of that day's filming? Nothing. Your microphone's down there, by the way. Where is your microphone? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we need to hear you. You don't remember anything about I remember, somehow I remember taking the hat off. Yeah. And that you were very cute. Oh, I remember thank you. that. Thank you. Not anymore, but oh, you were okay. very cute. <laughs> no. I made a mistake by putting this hat on before I showed the clip, and I'm, I'm absolutely boiling now. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's, let's set this up then. So um, I need to be coming in from this side, don't I? So, uh, this is actually quite a good spear for an Ewok, because when they're very nervous, they can sort of poke people from afar. You see? Not to get so close. Do not scare Gary. Will he, be get, will he think I'm threatening you if I do... Yeah, I've got to be careful, am not I? Okay. Gary, I am a friend. I am not going to... I come to... in peace. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, if we're going um, to have the music for the underscore, and uh, let's now recreate the scene from all those years ago. Don't worry, Gary. Oh, he's going to eat my... St OK, that's it. That's... I've done that bit. Oh! You can wake up now if you want. I don't want to have to poke you again, Gary. Hang on. Ooh. Nervous little thing. <laughs> <laughs> I need subtitles for that. It, it means... No, no, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Uh, I have uh, a Coca Cola for you. <laughs> Isn't it? It's. Oh. <sighs> yeah, mm. it's the real thing. <laughs> Nice bit of endorsement. Well done. <laughs> what am I going to get out of this? A lorry full of dowling. Okay. Right, and then, I know you haven't got a hat on, then maybe your shoe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what are you going to do next? Okay. You've got a line. I'll take my glasses off. Okay. Why Miss Smith without your glasses? Okay. <laughs> Don't. Oh. <laughs> 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right. <laughs> I 
Oh dear. I've been chased off my own stage. Gary, look, watch. There you go, Gary. He's okay. I got my piece. Well, he's not okay, but. <laughs> he's okay. It's... Gary, how are we going to carry on? I don't. I don't want to come anywhere near you, huh? How do I? How do I get? Do I don't... go low? What do I do? Go low. Yeah, go as low as Gary. Go low. Uh, no. Look, he's as low as you are, honey. Okay. Hang now... on a minute. Hang on a minute. Am I really on stage in front of 4,000 people on my hands and knees with a wicket hood on? Yes, this is actually happening. It's Thank Dignity you. It's Day at the Star Wars Convention Center. Right, so, Gary, I, I'm okay. Look. It's okay, baby. Look, look He's I, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, I have to make him not nervous, so you stay unnervous. Okay. Here, look, it's just a hat shaped like glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take them. Oh. Oh, I've heard a noise. I won't drop them in case I break them. Yeah. I just <laughs> and break Gary. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> and then there's a big explosion. Yeah, there, there's oh, a, there's a big explosion. Pew! Quick, hide behind the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gary, Gary, it's me, buddy. It's me, it's me. It's me, it's just a hat. Now I'm doing your lines. Oh, I'm sweaty now. Go get him. No, Go don't him. say that. <laughs> no, you can have that. Gary, Gary, look, this is a toy. Gary, okay. Gary, fetch look, me one. Get him. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here, Gary. I don't have to get up anymore. Okay. Come here, baby. No, boy. no he's not down there. He's still up here. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it he's, is a joy. He's taking it out on my hood now. Come his on. anger, his pent-up anger. That's he's right. Just... We have him in dog therapy. Right, you on. sit up there and chew that for the rest of the show. Okay, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at him. He shut. Uh, I know. Yeah. Can we, can we, Gary, can we carry on with the show now? We've got a couple of more fit features to do. Yeah. You said that. Okay. Out. Well, just it's okay. It's okay. Look, I'm gonna take this. Here. And settle down. Right. And now, so Gary, earlier on, um, thank you for thank you for doing that. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Do you, you remember didn't that release now? That? I sort of do remember that. Yeah, it's a lovely film. It's 23 minutes long and it was never finished. And oh, the, could the beauty we of it, it is now? it's not available. It just gets little bits can be shown at events like this and that sort of thing. So, and we're finishing it over time? Uh, it'll never be finished, I don't think, now. But it's, um, it's the story of me, or fictional story of me, getting the part in Return of the Jedi and then obviously putting the costume on and trying to figure out where Ewoks are supposed to be. Then I catch a rocket ship to uh, Endor, literally, and, uh, and, and find you guys fighting the Battle of Endor there. And then my mum and dad come and pick me up in a spaceship and take me home again. Literally, wow. That's exactly what what was the budget on that? The budget, it was a no budget, but all of you good people gave your time. That was probably filmed during a lunch break. But everyone's in there. It's fabulous. I, it really is good, and, and I look good, so that's important. <laughs> You did look very good indeed. Um, now, earlier this weekend, Carrie, I, I went out amongst the fans in the convention center um, with heavy security, I might add, and um, I wanted to play a little game with them. Uh, I asked them uh, to complete a line of dialogue from the film. So I said the first part of it, and I wanted to see whether they could come up with the, the completed sentence. So uh, I'm going to play a, a clip now, and you have to decide just by looking at the person whether you think they will indeed finish the line of dialogue. Uh, let's find out now as we play a game. <laughs> that has a nice sting that goes along with it. Complete the Senate. Ants. Oh, I see senators. Very clever. Right, so, complete the senators. Here's the first clip, Carrie, of, uh, of a fan. We'll pause it and then you have to figure out did they complete it or not. 
I find your lack of faith. So, do you think that guy's going to be able to finish the sentence there? Does he look like a true fan? I, I, he might be able to finish the you sentence. You think he might be able to do it? All right, let's find out. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Yes, you were right. You did it. Okay, so you can tell by looking at somebody whether they're going to be able to... He should marry his girlfriend. He is a child. Yeah. Would you marry him? A Nothing little like bit. That. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just the beard. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. Hello. There's always a bigger... I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I don't know the end of that sentence. Okay. Well, I, I think I know it, but I no, don't, don't know it. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Did this person complete the sentence? There's always a bigger... <laughs> yes! What's the answer? Fish. No, oh, she got it! She didn't, and then she did. It's fish. What? There's always a bigger fish. That was a line in Star Wars? Yeah, it was said uh, in The Phantom Menace. But it is an expression, isn't it, in life as well, I think. Oh, I use that all the time. People I'm say it often when they see me. What? People always say it when they see me. Oh, I see. I No, I don't understand. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have one more. <laughs> you don't know how hard I found it signing the order to. <laughs> what do you think? He's no, a, I think he's going to know that. He's a stormtrooper in a kilt. The kilt part makes me nervous, but uh, the stormtrooper part makes, make, yeah. makes me confident. Okay. All right, let's see if Storm McTrooper completed the sentence. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to... Uh-oh. Oh. The kilt won. Terminate your life. Yes. Yes. yes! yes! We could hear the cogs whirring and you got it in the end. What was the answer? It was uh, to terminate your life. It was yeah, somebody, I knew this Moff general, Tarkin said it to you. I know he did, but I can't, I was very upset at the time, so I didn't remember. <laughs> you spent a lot of time being stressed and upset, didn't you, as Princess Lately. Leia? Lately. Yeah. Oh, no, I was upset then, very, well, they were going to blow up my planet. Yeah, of course. Record collection. Absolutely. Everything. <laughs> now, before we go to questions from the audience, got one more thing to do, right? So, Carrie, if you would, um, if you would just shut your eyes for a moment, when I come back on, I'll say open them, and I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, no. Okay? Stand by. Keep your eyes shut from now. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. What? Open your eyes. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh no, the microphone's come off now. Hang on, the microphone's come off. That Here, wasn't the correct answer. I've broken this now. I borrowed it off a 501st member. Oh dear. Come on. So, what you were what else would you have said? Any other ideas? It's no. a line from the film. It's something you said in the movie. You think I memorized these lines so that I can remember, <laughs> remember them down through time, don't you? The answer was, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? I didn't understand that taking off the helmet was part of the thing. I thought it was to upset Gary. <laughs> okay, aren't you? What people usually say is, take the helmet off, you're far too good looking to keep it on. But, um, <laughs> Okay, I'm that sorry that I didn't know that. Right, Mark, have we got some questions for our audience for yes, Harry? Yes, I do. I have a question right over here. Where are you? State your name and your question. Hi, my name's Grace. Um, I'd just like to know how long before filming you uh, knew about wearing the golden bikini? Oh, I knew about the gold. Is that for me or for Warren? <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that one's definitely for you. Uh, George had me come up to San Francisco to show me sketches, and I thought he was joking. And because then they didn't have a, a lot of exercising, so I had to get leg lifts and stuff like that. But I really did think he was joking. He showed me sketches. That was a 
couple of months before. So not enough time to really get in shape. No, but I was in shape permanently then. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for that. DJ Elliot, do you have a question? Here. Okay. Hello. Um, here. Where is here? Oh, well, there's here. Have you got the Over question? There. Hello, anyone got a question? Or should we go to Twitter? Yes, right here. Catherine, we have okay. Catherine. Um, right, right up here at the end of the stage to your left. All She's right. nine years old. She has oh. a question. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> oh, Why would it be your favorite, Karen? It's the spiritual Star Wars. It's the John Lennon Star Wars. I see. Yes. Very good. Thank you for your question. Should we, go to, uh, should we go to a Twitter question next? Have we got any? We've been, uh, people have been tweeting their questions via the hashtag SWCECarry. Who is your favorite character from the franchise? And can you sort it out that Gary gets an action figure? Oh, man, I really think it's important that Gary gets an action figure with, you know, the tongue as a little, you know, extra little moment on the side <laughs> who's my favorite character well in the yes and no way i like jabba because i like to kill him <laughs> so i like to get him yeah i like to kill him in all sizes but so have you chosen a character favorite one well that was jabba oh okay am i not allowed to choose jabba you can choose jabba you can okay you can. i'll choose myself Okay. Didn't get the hint. No, I couldn't get any. Do you have a, do you have one? I'm a character. I know that you're a character, but I didn't know you were an action figure Hang too. Hang on a minute. Is that real? Is that real? Yes, it is real. It's a giant version of the action figure, obviously, in, in reality. Well, I'm very excited for you then. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You know you've made it, don't you, when you're uh, created in plastic? Yes. Yes. Are you a stamp, too? No, I've never been a stamp. See, it's really good when you're a stamp. Are you, uh... <laughs> All right, then. All right, Miss Fisher, are you, uh, are you a Lego minifigure? I yes. think so. Yeah, all right. Uh, have you got four Lego minifigures of characters you've played? I don't know about four, but I think well, I have... Well, thank you very much. I think I hold that record. <laughs> I arrest my case. You have four Lego things? Yeah, different characters, yeah. There's a Wicket figure. There's yeah. a Professor Flitwick from Harry Potter. Oh, figure. I see. We're going to other movies. Oh, yeah. Now. We're allowed cheating. to. There's no rules. That you say That's you cheating, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's no Burbs figures. And... But you're there up two now, at least. Uh, uh, then I think you've got more. Blues you... Brothers. Oh. No, I'm not an actor. <laughs> the mystery woman with a flamethrower. There'd be a Lego Blues Brothers license. That no, would be you win on that, and I'm enraged at you. <laughs> Get him, Gary. On that note, let's go to another <laughs> question from the floor. All right, back here in the back by the audio. Okay. What's your favorite scene with Harrison Ford in Star Wars saga? In the new Star Wars, I liked. There was a little bit where I kind of yell at him. Not really yell, but it. It's fun to go back to the old days when we, you know, treated each other badly. That's always my favorite part, is treating Harrison badly. <laughs> I mean, Han. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to Twitter again. Let's see what we got from Twitter. Okay. What, what's being uh, your favorite and least favorite parts of coming back to play Leia in oh. the new trilogy? So, I do not like looking at myself in giant size. It, does, it doesn't make for, you know, older women. I see. When you have, what is that called when you, it makes you very, you know, Ugly. your wrinkles all show. Um, magnification? I don't know, what do you mean? It HD. is, HD is not friendly. Oh, HD, yes. To the older, uh, uh, over 40s. It's not made for that. No. So I haven't, I wept through the first, uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Thank yeah. you, darling. I love you too. They all you love you in HD. My wrinkles and my puffs and my sad. Oh, and my baboon ass. <laughs> okay, let's go to another question from the floor. All right, over here on the left side of the stage. Yep. 
Hi, Kerry. I still think you're as beautiful as you were back in 1977. Oh, thank you. I really do. Really do. Um, it's a bit of a two-part question, so sorry. Um, would Gary like some peanuts? Because I noticed the, uh, you asked if you wanted a snack earlier. And um, this might be a bit of a personal question, but do you still wear the bikini? I'm, I'm wearing the bikini now. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's been modified for older usage, but uh, I am wearing it now. Good, I'm glad we cleared that up. And. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, DJ Elliot, what do you yes. have for us? Hi, I was wondering if you could tell us a particular funny story from set. Which movie? No, let me see. Any of them. Oh, there's some bad ones where I don't remember my dialogue. I don't like those stories, though. <laughs> uh, well, you know, when we were uh, doing the uh, scene in the trash compactor, uh, there was a thing that was supposed to be called a Dianoga. That was the thing under the water that grabbed Mark. And so we're in the trash compactor and uh, Mark lifts up a piece of trash and says, pardon me, George, could this be Dianoga poo poo? <laughs> so that, that was good. That's fantastic. Mark, do we have another question in the room? Yes, uh, way in the back, stage left, up in the rafters. Ah, yeah. Hi, Kerry. Um, do you take a new lover in episode eight? God, I hope so. <laughs> if I do, I, I don't know it, but uh, the dress is awfully large, so you never know. It could be a new kind of special effect that they add in post. I hope. Okay, let's go back to Twitter for the next question. Okay, this is from somebody called Can Skywalker. Uh, how often do people call you Princess Leia instead of your real name? We sort of talked about this earlier, didn't well, we? Well, I have a feeling this person would. Uh, no, I, I often go into, my favorite thing is going into an um, airport and someone saying to me, Leia! And am I meant to go, yes? <laughs> So I am, yes, called Leia, and it's very hard for me not to turn around, which is depressing. But uh, I, I often turn around, and that's more depressing. And yet not. What do you think? Don't you want to be called Leia, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DJ Elliot. Elliot, this will be our last question, I was told. Hi. For those of us that were at the first panel with Mark Hamill, Oh. We're curious about why you went to the Wax Museum without him. Mark's email, which is... Oh. Mark's email uh, is not, does not include his name. And I often, as I don't remember, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper, don't remember people's non-names, email names. So when he wrote to me about it, doesn't this sound like a lie? <laughs> uh, anytime you convince, try to convince someone of something, it sounds like a lie. That's what an a, a acting tip. Um, so when he wrote to me, I never saw it. And obviously we both were longing to go over and see ourselves in wax. So that was the interesting thing, was we had our little connection as twins. And we both wanted to go over and see the wax figure, but I didn't see his email. That's my story anyway, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Why would I want to go without Mark? It's a much better story that I went with Mark, and now ask him this when you see him. All of you. <laughs> Why would I not? Does he want to go now? I keep asking him. Do I say to him, do you want to go back? I said yesterday, let's go tonight. And he said, and you can say this to him when you see him, all of you, I have tickets for the theater. Now, doesn't that sound like a lie? <laughs> so, please go get him if that's... If it's a problem for him, if we have not gone before, I'm willing. So I want literally every single one of you to go up to him and say, go with her now. 
hashtag go with her now dot wax figure. <laughs> well, Carrie, I'm so thrilled we've had the real Carrie Fisher here this afternoon. And I'm thrilled we had the real Warwick. The real Warwick. I've not been made in wax. Well, Never. you will be, I can tell. It would only take one small candle. <laughs> Melted into a Warwick Davis shape. All right, well, I'll get that. Maybe we'll suggest Look, that. now Gary likes you more. I know, I think so. I it's think calmed so. down. He has indeed. Well, it's been such a delight to share the stage with you today. And you, and, sir. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the wonderful Gary Fisher and Gary.